Hey, what's up, agents? Welcome back. So, on today's video, I want to show you guys uh, this video that I've been holding on to make for about right now two weeks and a half to be exact. Um, I've been holding on on this video because I wanted to make sure uh, what I was gonna say on this video it was you know it was gonna be true. So what I'm talking about is the fact that I kind of found a way to fix my crashes on PC. So this is a problem that's been going on for a long time for a lot of PC players. Console players might not, might not understand this, but this has been a huge problem for PC players. So I'm going to show you and share with you guys my knowledge about what's going on and how I fix everything because it's kind of like a combination of settings and it kind of fixed my issue. Like I said, it's been two weeks and a half and the last setting that kind of like fixed everything that's because of a video of a fellow content creator a friend of my dj tickle he mentioned one setting that i knew before but for some reason i had it on again and then when it made that video i'm like hold on do i have that off and then i went and check i had it on again so for some reason i had it on again so what you should do it turned that setting off but hold on, let me let me go step by step, right? So let's start off from the menu. So right here on the menu, before I show you guys everything, I'll show you guys that I do have like most of my, actually everything besides some settings, I have everything on like the highest possible because my computer can handle it, right? So that's the thing. And my frame rates are in between 120, um, 80 to 120 FPS, right? So with that said, the first things first, you should cap your frame rates i do keep mine at 120 honestly even though if if your pc can handle more frames you know just cap it. it honestly that's a good thing because it will take some stress out of your pc so i kept mine at 120 second thing vsync i would say turn that off it is a helpful thing depending if you have a uh, screen tearing but I, I i had never seen it in my case i don't have that so turning it off actually increase your performance this is on any game it does increase your performance when you turn it on it will you know use some of your performance to avoid that screen tearing uh, scrolling down like i said most of this stuff are the max right besides this one setting right here volumetric fog this is a setting i would say most of ubisoft games for some reason this setting it will hit your performance really hard so yeah turn this all the way down to the lowest possible because this will increase your frame rates and will increase your performance so that's on the graphic settings right now moving on for the video uh go full screen that's the best one right and then second well resolution that well that would depend on your graphics card that would depend on your monitors all of that i can go 4k if i want right but i play on 1440p i i sometimes i do 4k right but most of the time 1440p because i just wanted to avoid all of that crashing enable reduce latency turn that off right turn that off i always had it off and then this is the important one drx 12 this one right here, they did came up with the title update 17.2 saying that they kind of made the performance of the X12 better, but it doesn't really work for me still. I never used it, the X12 since the Division 1 as a fact, because the game performance has been kind of similar since the Division 1. So I would say turn this off and to kind of show you guys, let me turn this on, right? Let's apply the settings. I have to restart the game, right? Let's apply the settings. Let's see what happens, right? Let me show you guys what happens when I turn this on. Okay, we are right here on the menu. Let's click on play again. So now I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see, like right there. Well, you guys can see it now. You guys can see how the game is looking. This is me live right now. I'm moving through just the, I'm in the menu. I'm just moving through this. I'm not even gonna click play. You guys can see how bad this is. If I click play, uh, it's really bad. I'm not going to be able to get to the settings so quick. So you can see this is a pretty bad when you activate the Direx 12. So I don't recommend use that at all. I never did. Um, and yeah, just turn that off. You see, hey, look, just going through the menus, how slow that is. So yeah, I'm not going to click play. You guys can have an idea. Let's turn this off. I have to restart the game again. And we'll be right back. 
Okay, right now, before we actually get in the game, actually, this is the last part. This is the last settings. This is what kind of is the cherry on top of the cake, if you want to call it that. And this is where DJ Tickle put a video talking about it, and that kind of helped me out. Like I said, I had an idea about this setting, but for some reason, I had it turning back on, because at some point in the past, I turned it off because this was affecting my recording with OBS. This is how bad the setting is for some reason, right? So what you have to do if you are on the uh, app, the Ubisoft Connect app, go on games, right? Then on the, instead of going to the division, go right here on settings of the Ubisoft Connect and click on settings. And then right where it says enable in-game overlay for supported games, make sure that's off. Turn that off because that that's it guys that's what kind of helped me not crashing for two weeks and a half for pc players this is huge two weeks and a half without crashing i'll take that any time of the week and then also i do disable the the fps counter in game if i wanted to use my uh, take a look at my fps i use the nvidia one uh games invites sometimes i turn that off um so far i have not been giving me any trouble if it's giving you any trouble also i'll turn that off like anything that's in game like enable notification for the coming games all of that most of it i'll turn it off right i only play with the cloud safe obviously for supported games but yeah that setting right there i had the other things that i just showed you i had them already in progress and then this last one enable in-game overlay for supported games this is the last settings that i turned off and it helped me a lot if this helped you guys out if you try this let me know in the comment section below because the thing about pc game right is that every player will have a different system when it comes to the pc game so this might work for you this might not work for you so you guys gonna have to let me know in the comment section below if this works for you it does work for me i'm happy right now i am playing the game for <laughs> two weeks and a half without crashing so i'll take that and uh hopefully it keeps going like that though i don't know if uh, anything might happen in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.